Okay, this is Jacksons.tv with Diego Sanchez. Uh, Diego, um, what is it like uh, being back here at Jacksons? It's amazing. You know, it's, it's really amazing. The training is great. Um, working back with Greg, the, the connection is just awesome. And um, he really is working hard to be the best trainer in the world. And I just want to be the best student in the world. So I'm back over here with the team and um, back in my hometown, Albuquerque, New Mexico. And my heart feels good. I'm nice and warm and fuzzy inside. And um, training hard and focused. And, you know, the, the great thing about this team is you um, – you can't slip on your game at all, or you'll come into the gym and you'll get your ass kicked. <laughs> and uh, for everybody who who, want, who wants to know, are you going to be fighting at 170 or at 155? Um, this next fight is a, one, a welterweight bout uh, with Paulo Thiago at UFC 121. Um, after that, you know what I mean? Um, I, I, you know, who knows? You know what I mean? I'm, basically, I want to perform well at 170 in this fight, and... Um, you know, if, if a, a big opportunity opens up for me at 155, it will be a hard weight cut for me to make 155. But, you know, a man got to do what a man got to do. And if I have to, if I have to go back down and, um, and kick some butt at 155, I'm, I'm down for that too. But um, right now I, I want to just have a, a really focused camp, a really focused, tough camp. Um, I'm a little over two months out. Um, I'm full, full, full board into this camp. I'm, um, last fight, the last fight around, I was unfocused and um, a little bit lost, and so um, I really, really want to give my fans an incredible fight, show them the the Diego of old with great in conditioning, great intensity, and just um, that the nightmare. So that's what that's what I got in plan for the, uh, Paulo Thiago. And um, I'm sure he's training very, very hard, and um, I'm expecting a war. He's one of the toughest guys out there at 170. And Diego, you've been, you know, a, a fighter now, and you've had a, an amazing career so far. But also, you're a martial artist. Can you kind of talk to your development as both a martial artist and as an MMA fighter? You know, in the last, you know, uh, several years. Um, you know, um, it's always been a constant um, evolution process for me um, to become a striker. I started out as a wrestler, became a grappler, was very dominant in grappling, um, ground and pound. And, you know, it took me a while to uh, really put a lot of work in, in, in boxing and Muay Thai and trying to put it all together. And right now I'm just um, feeling like my style is, is coming together. And nobody knows me better than my very first trainer, Greg, and um, he knows how to tweak me train me and you know find the the strengths and weaknesses in my assist, in, in my style and uh, just get me sharp razor sharp and so um, now that I'm back here at Jacksons I just want to just continue to evolve with all these great martial artists that are in and out of the gym every day and just uh, get a get another win back on the record for the Burke. <laughs> and speaking of Albuquerque what is it like being back in Albuquerque does it feel good uh, it's the it's the best city in the world. I'll never ever leave again, and um, you know I'm, I'm buying a piece of land out in um, in um, out in the East Mountains, and I'm gonna just be living out there um, away from the city a little bit, and just uh, focusing on my career. I'm 28 years old, and you know now is the time to snap and just um, be humble and um, put the work in and earn it, earn a victory. You know what I mean? And finally, would you like to give any shout outs or acknowledgements to anyone? Um, you know I want to just give a shout out to. Uh, to at Silver Star, um, you know we got um, Sprawl and the Palms, the Maloofs, uh, Sacramento Kings, and uh, that's about it. Okay, thank you very much, and it's good to have you back. Thank you very much.